Wow, Lyft is offering free rides to people if they have a job interview. That's pretty cool. Find out more in today's video. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. Yes, I am just sitting here drinking my morning coffee at a casual 12.30 p.m. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for coming by. The Rideshare Hub is a place for Uber and Lyft drivers to learn how to make more money. And in today's video, I'm talking about how Lyft is now offering free rides to people if they have a job interview. It's a new program that Lyft is partnering with and they're basically going to provide free rides to people and it's it, it, it's really cool and don't be alarmed if you're a driver and you are giving a free ride, you still will get paid. Um, this is a program, they are basically paying for the rides and any single time uh, a rider gets a discount for a ride or if they have a coupon code or something, the driver, you will still get paid full for the ride, um, but basically somebody is covering the cost of the ride. So I'm gonna get into all of that, I'm gonna go over an article from CNN, share my thoughts, and then um, basically the pros and cons of this because with every good thing, it's usually there's a bad thing as well that comes out of it. You know, the, uh, even donating clothes to uh, poor countries or like donating items to poor countries. Yeah, it sounds like a good thing, but oftentimes there's cons as well because you know, when you're dumping a bunch of free clothes and free items to let's say like a, a third world country now that market that economy like that local seller who's you know sells clothes um now the that that business is like um gonna fail because you know all the people now have free clothes so i'm just trying to say every single time there's a good thing usually there's a bad thing that comes with it i'm not saying you know don't donate to the poor but when you look at it from a global perspective the best way to alleviate poverty is through growing a local business. So oftentimes when you're just donating clothes to like a poor country, it actually has the opposite effect. So um, I'm just trying to say pros and cons usually come with good things. So before I get into this video though, um, please give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And also um, make sure to destroy the subscribe button destroy it um, so you are notified every single time I do post a video. And also, feel free to head into the description. I'm gonna leave some links for you guys on discounts on gas. Every time you fill up, you can get discounts on gas with an app called Get Upside. You do need to use my code though. And if you use my code and link, you'll get 15 cents off your per gallon on your first fill up. So, you know, I have a 15 gallon tank, so. No, that's a couple bucks just right there. And then every single future fill up, you will also get discounts on gas. So go ahead and check those out. Check the links out. I'll leave a link to Play Octopus, the tablet company that pays drivers for their passengers to play free games if they want. It also leads to better tips too. You can make an extra $100 per month and also for cargo. I'll leave all of that in the description. But anyways, so today's video, guys, here we go. Lyft is offering free rides so that people can go to job Interviews, let's check this out. How do I get rid of this ad here? Is this really how I'm supposed to read the article like this? How do you get rid of a stupid ad? Come on CNN. This is supposed to be CNN like the best website Wow, that's how that's how it works now. Okay, whatever uh, Lyft is offering free rides so that people can go to job interviews by the way guys. Thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers I really appreciate that um, Check out some of our videos um, yeah, it's pretty insane. But anyways, here we go. This is by Amir Vera. Here we go. Lyft announced a new initiative that will give riders free or discounted rides to job interviews and during the th first three weeks of employment. So if you are basically, yeah, if you're, I'm gonna, I'll get into the details, but basically it's basically for unemployed people who are trying to find a job. They're giving people free rides to the job interviews and then also during the first three weeks like I think it's for the first three weeks until you basically get your first paycheck so you can start you know paying for transportation on its own I did see a comment on this because somebody posted this in my Facebook group and somebody was like wow 
ever heard of the bus? Can't they take the bus? Um, yeah, except there a lot of the, some of the re <laughs> there's a lot of people who have negative, um, very close-minded mi uh, minds, I guess. Um, yeah, people can take the bus, but <clears throat> also keep in mind the bus one does cost money, and two, usually people have to walk like decently far to the bus stop. And to go to the bus stop and then to walk from the bus stop to the job. Keep in mind, a lot of people, the reason they end up getting un unemployed is because of a disability. So, you know, some people might have trouble walking all the way to the bus stop, especially like even if it's raining, you know, um, or yeah, if you have a disability, say you have a bad back or a bad leg, walking to a bus stop. Um, could, you know, prevent somebody from going and getting a job, you know, it's, it's, trust me, it's tiring to take the bus, you know, I've done it before, um, I just take the bus to school, like, I, I mean, yeah, it's, I, again, it's not impossible, but for some people, it is impossible, so this helps a lot of people who, um, yeah, and also it's much safer too, so anyways, here we go. The Jobs Access Program looks to here I'll I'm gonna go over to that in a second but um, first here we go the job access program looks to close the transportation gap in low-income communities Lyft said in a statement the rideshare company is partnering with national and local organizations including the National Down Syndrome Society and United Way to offer the program in over 35 markets in the United States and in Canada so it's actually international if you might say or you know US and Canada but this is the program here. I'll go ahead and leave this link in the description so you guys can read that as well. But here we go, guys. Here's the program. Uh, Lyft launches job access program in 35 cities with partners including Goodwill, United Way, and the USO. Um, here we go. In fact, a recent... Everyone needs access to reliable, affordable transportation to get to work, visit a doctor, make it to school, or simply participate in life. In fact, a recent study pinpoints commuting time as a single strongest factor in the odds of escaping poverty. Wow, that's actually really interesting. Our own study shows that 44% of lift rides start or end in low-income areas and that our passengers save 178 million hours compared to other transportation modes. That is crazy. So, wow. So, I mean, commuting is like one of the biggest, I guess time wasters, whatever you want to call it, like, um, I actually, when I was in school at UC Berkeley, probably about six months ago, I got a really nice job, a really nice, it was an internship, um, at a really good startup company, however, I was going to school at UC Berkeley, and the job was in San Francisco, and I was going to school for full-time, and I had another part-time job, and I was doing the YouTube channel, and I was doing rideshare, I was super busy, but I got this new internship and I was like, I can do it, you know. I only needed to go over like two, three days a week. But um, I lived like maybe 50, I maybe 20 minutes walk to the bar, to the bu the metro. And, or I could take the bus there, but I still live like five minutes from the bus. And then, you know, the bus has a schedule and then whatever. It was a whole mess. So I ended up just taking the bus all the way there because... Um, for one, it was free, well, it was included in my tuition or whatever, um, but for one, it was the same amount of time as if I had to walk all the way to the metro and then take a 30-minute ride to the city, and um, so I ended up, you know, because I did the math, and I was like, well, I might as well just take the bus, but a lot of times, like, the bus doesn't come on time, or it's slow, or sometimes I've had, to, I had times where, like, there was, like, a fight break out on the bus, and the bus driver had to pull over, and then all of a sudden, we get dropped off in the middle of nowhere, and I have to, like, and then what I ended up doing is taking a Lyft to home or an Uber home. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that that job would have been absolutely phenomenal if it wasn't for the commute. The commute was the reason why I didn't keep that job. And even for me, um, yeah, I might even say that was a big reason why, like, you know, if I would have been able to get that job, that was a job at a super successful comp software company. I could have worked, stayed there, worked my way up got into a bigger job, like, I'm just saying, like, the fact that the commute was so long was a re- I ended up quitting the job, if you guys, you know, spoiler alert. 
And so that led me to a totally different route, you know? I, I, I basically had to tell him, hey, sorry, you know, I'm going to school right now. I can't commute an hour each way, um, you know, two, three days a week because, um, you know, it just takes up way too much time. And with, with school and stuff, I was getting ready to graduate. I was like, you know, I'm sorry. I, you know, I have to, I have to say no to this. And, you know, who knows? Maybe I would have stayed there, worked my way up and gotten a really, really nice job. But, um, yeah. Anyways, here we go. Sorry, I had a little ramble there for you guys. Lyft is committed to expanding transportation access to those who need it most. In May, we announced a $50 million annual commitment to improve our cities through transportation infrastructure, donated transportation, and sustainability initiatives. Okay, back to CNN really quick. Um, children, children's opportunities for economic mobility are shaped by the neighborhoods in which they grow up. Interesting. Um... In September, the unemployment rate fell to 3.5%, the lowest since 69. Um, as a, employers added 136,000 jobs to U.S. economy. Yeah, guys, even though, like, I hear, I hear a, a, an argument all the time with technology, like, oh my gosh, technology is, is horrible, it's ruining, it's getting rid of jobs. Are you serious? You think creating amazing technology and the fact that they might, like, sorry, I, I'm even having struggle to explain this because it just doesn't make any sense to me. But, like, the fact that, let's say, the self-checkout at a grocery store, that eliminates, like, a job right there from people who, you know, need to scan your groceries, right? It's not a needed job anymore. If a job can be replaced by technology, I say go for it. Like... But, like, also keep in mind that newer jobs, because of the advanced technology, will be will be created. So, you shouldn't um, say, "Oh no, let's not let's not advance our society. Let's let's keep it the old way so we can keep our jobs." What about the the cotton mill? Like, <laughs> you know, before the, before the cotton mill was started, was, was that is that what it was called? The cotton mill? No, what what's the 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 plow cotton mill plow? What's that thing called? The steel? I can't think of it. What was it called? The whatever the 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 technology that was first created to basically you know harvest cotton or whatever. What what I know I can't. Why I don't know why I can't think of the name for that. Um, the cotton gin is that what it was called? Yeah, the cotton gin. Sorry. <laughs> When the cotton gin was created, people were up in arms because why? It replaced farmers because before the cotton gin, guys, like, let's just look at this. Before the cotton gin, um, let's see, before the cotton gin, is that, is that what it was called? Yeah. Basically, before the cotton gin, people used to just pick the, I could be totally butchering this, but in my head, before the cotton gin, people used to just pick, I feel like it was, yeah, people used to just pick cotton out of, like, they used to separate the cotton from the seeds and from the brushes and from the little thorns and all that stuff, but then they created the cotton gin, the cotton gin, and people were like, what the heck, you're replacing all these jobs, you, like, I, I just, I get frustrated because, Imagine if we just always had that mindset of, oh no, we can't advance our technology. We can't make new technology because we'll just replace jobs. We would still, there was, there would still be, you know, thousands of farmers picking out cotton and those people would still have the same jobs. And if you think about it, the cotton gin replaces those jobs and then those people can no, go get new jobs at places because... Now the cotton gin is able to expand, so maybe instead of being a farmer, now you can manage a whole warehouse, or you can, you know, work in the sales of cotton because you're able to produce more cotton now. It's a whole cycle. So this is the same thing. Like, yes, with with Uber and Lyft, people probably were opposed to it because oh, now it's eliminating public transportation and jobs and stuff. Um, but if you think of it right here. Um, Look, yeah, 178 million hours. If we had that small mindset, we would still be sitting on the bus. Like, you know, 
but now people are able to take Lyft to work. It's like the same thing. Now people are able to take a Lyft and, or an Uber to work and make more money because they're able to get there faster, quicker, you know, be more efficient. Just the advancing of our technology and our societies. But anyways, I think this is a great program. Um, here we go. Here are the details of it. Rides to and from job training programs, rides to job interviews, rides to and, and from as well. The first three weeks of employment until individuals receive their first paycheck. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how you were able to sign up. Um, we're not accepting solicitation. How, yeah, how do you... I'm trying to figure out how you can sign up. Um, yeah, but, but I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link here and then you can check it out and, um, and sign up if you, you know, if you want, if you're interested in it, um, keep up to date. Basically, yeah, you just keep, can keep up to date with this. So, um, does CNN, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how to sign up yet, but I will make an update video when you can sign up. So, um, it looks like they're just announcing it, uh, or it launches it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. You guys are amazing. Um, leave the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also subscribe for more videos on Uber and Lyft. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, bye guys.